Good morning, guys. How's everybody doing today? This afternoon, tonight, wherever you guys are. Well, summer at Kenzie continues. We're on our way back to Vancouver. Just left there a week ago. Not last week, the week before. We are down there. And now we're back again. This time I'm going down for another leg appointment. I'm getting my socket readjusted. And then hopefully, fingers crossed, they actually start building the final one. So just goes to show you how many steps you have to do to, to get a socket made for amputees. It's, I think this will be probably day nine traveling, just for a simple socket that may last two years, maybe a year and a half, depending. So. I can't believe it, but it's finally raining. Finally. It's just drizzling, but some rain's better than no rain in BC here. Fires are just brutal. Looks like they finally got um, cash, or Jasper all mopped up. Sounds like it. They're on the final stages. The closest fire to us is right outside of Ashcroft, BC. And it looks like that's going the opposite way, which is really, really good. So... I don't know, I just, every August, the, the fires just start. It's just so sad, so much timbers being burned up for nothing. Around us right today, it's it's either cloudy or smoky. I don't know which one. You can see I got Grover on self-driving, so Grover knows where he's going to Vancouver, and I just trust him to drive where, where he's going. The highway's still dry, so it's just spitting a little bit, but... Hey, some rain's better than no rain for sure. So we're also planning on going, we got the bikes in the back and I got a lieutenant in the back and we plan to go around Stanley Park. So this will be the last trip on lieutenant that I'm sending it in to get the batteries looked at. So I've got another front drive thing, it's called the Baytech. And I'm gonna use the Baytech while the batteries get looked at, diagnosed, why they're going through so quickly, whether it's an engine problem or a controller problem, I don't know. So they're gonna look at that. So, and then we're also gonna be doing piles of swimming. This hotel's where we've got a really, really nice outdoor pool and indoor pool. So the weather's supposed to be great both ways. Kenzie's brought her swimsuit, so I'm sure she'll be swimming. and. Just relaxing, just enjoying the summer of Kenzie. So, DJ, can you please roll that intro? Hey everybody, my name is Andrew Adley. After a workplace accident, I was left as a bump knee amputee. I had a decision to make. Get busy living or get busy dying. Obviously, you only have one life, so I made a decision to get busy living, exploring every opportunity that is presented to me. Tune in every week for different adventures, both from accessibility standpoint to adventures with my family and friends. And every adventure begins with one leg at a time. Hey there guys, so mid trip update. We're almost at the peak of the highway to hell, Coquihalla. My co-partner's here is relaxing, taking a little break in Grover. We're gonna head down the, call the Smasher, so the really steep hill, heading through the two tunnels, heading into Hope. Rain still, it's just spitting. A lot of fog, so. It almost feels like fall, and we're definitely still in the midst of summer, so. I don't mind the rain, just as long as no lightning or thunder starts coming through. So let's get back to the trip.
Vancouver traffic is just nuts. Get a little bit of rain and oh, the guy almost hit me, came right into our lane. Get a little bit of rain and people just forget how to drive. I'm supposed to be there at 3, but it looks like about 3.30 before we get here. My co-pilot's awake now, so two of us watching. Rain's kind of, it's kind of stopped, but it looks like it's going to rain any second. It's really cloudy, but better night lightning. Guys, sorry I didn't film pulling up. It's pouring rain outside. We're here at Barber's Prosthetics. So the goal this week is to get this one a little bit fitting a little bit better and then Leah's gonna make a copy and make an actual socket. And then my my everyday leg, this one, I'll put a clip up here, but it won't stop squeaking. So I know from experience, she loves this job. She has to pull this huge, huge spring out of here and she loves doing it but it won't stop squeaking, so that's what she has to do. She's gonna absolutely hate me. Okay, so here's the plan. I'm gonna just talk to Leah about the plan this week, and I'm going to drop this one off and get it casted, and she's gonna add a little bit of plaster so I'll be able to get the final one of that, so that's good. Part B is old squeaky over here, and my lovely assistant, Vanna Kenzie, is gonna actuate it. So. I get it close. You guys hear that? That creaky noise? So Leah's just there's a spring inside. I've lubed it. It's not it's not lubed, like I've taken it all apart, but there's a spring inside, and if any of you guys are car people, they're um it's a spring that's under tension. And she showed it to me for before and it's a hell of a job because she releases it and of course the springs under tension and wants to blow your head off it's like the size of your finger it's really small there's the lovely kenzie vanna kenzie get it from vanna white you probably don't get it she's probably too young vanna white from spin the wheel from wheel of fortune i'll put a clip in there but it's vanna kenzie it's a compliment so anyways, Leah says she's going to have to replace the spring, she thinks. And then um, hopefully she can do it or she's going to try repacking it. But I know from past it's a nightmare job and she hates doing it. Absolutely hates doing it. But this knee, this is what it does. So that's what it looks like. I'll put a clip up of what the knee is. It's called an Oser 2200. It's a really, really, really good leg. It's very um, robust. You have to, I'll put a clip on how to actually work it, but you have to flick it to lock. And how you flick it is you have to load the toe. So that's what tells the knee to release. It's all hydraulics. So if you don't flick your foot forward, it locks. And then you biff it. Whereas this one, like I've shown in other videos, this one's all computer generated. So if you don't put weight on it, it goes stiff and lets you recover. So let's go say hi to our friend over here. Kenzie does. Kenzie's got a little. Um, sh sh she's um, she's against Bob. She might be a little racist to Bob. I don't know. What did Bob ever do to you? I, Bob wasn't right. So let's go see Bob. See how Bob's doing. See if how his mustache is coming along. Bobby. Oh, mustache isn't growing in very well at all. Bobby, you need to work on that mustache. You got a new hat, though, I think. He's still on a diet, though. I'm worried he's getting too thin, guys. What do you guys think? I don't know. He might be anorexic. I, I don't know. I don't know. I'm a little worried about Bobby. Especially now that Kenzie's been mean to Bobby. Let's go have a look in the workshop while I've got, still got a leg. Let's go see what Leah says. It's not like it's not usable or anything. Yeah. Okay, everybody take cover. Here goes Leah. Gonna... You'll notice when Leah's working, she's very precise and looks at all the notches and everything else. 
Meanwhile, I'm sitting there taunting her and trying to have a conversation with her, which makes it so much harder. She's such a good prosthetist and so new into the market, but she's got a huge, bright future ahead of her, and she's so easy to work with. Yeah, so I break it and then I pop it out. Yeah. And that's what I cleaned it. So I did all that. You find them, Ken? Awesome. The bumper's in beautiful shape. Yeah, it's it's. There's no marks on it, and there wasn't before I cleaned it. it. wasn't like it was dirty at all or anything. The knee, honestly, besides water, it hasn't been in any dirty conditions. Like the genium's where I, you know. Yeah. Because now it's working good. Yeah. Well, there's the bumper, and there's nothing wrong with that. No. Oh, is there another one in there that I didn't know about? There's a little shim. Oh. It basically makes the knee break earlier. Ah. So, so it is something that we could that we could take out if you think the knee is breaking up too easily. We should actually probably look at the alignment of this. The alignment's screwed because I've swapped it back and forth and really you can even right smell the yeah. you can smell it. Because I, I thought, well, I'll coat it, right? And then I can wipe it off. It's too much, right? Yeah. And it's just that white lithium that you said to use. WD-40 stuff. Now you can't get it to break. <laughs> so these are the designs I'm looking at. And then Kenzie... All my sockets have one. Terry Fox designs on them. And I think the back... Yeah. That's what I like about the back one. So I don't know. I'm going to leave up to Leah to figure it out. And then if it's bad, I can blame her and yeah. we can bomb her in the comments and everything else. <laughs> What's on the bad ones? Oh, these are both the same year. That's why. Mm -hmm. I don't know. Whatever. She can do it. But she's so whatever it works. I'm not picky this is for later. at all. And I know Leah's not picky either. So. Don't, don't mess around. That's where it is right now. This is where the spring is in there. And this is what the springs look like. So they're like little bullets. So if Leah releases it badly, it's going to go through the ceiling. You think I'm joking? I'm not. Try to squeeze these, Ken. I'll get Kenzie to try to squeeze them. <laughs> These are both different tensions. You're cheating. I can use the table. You never clarified anything. <laughs> She's cheating. I'm not cheating. Yeah, that squeezed a bit. Can you feel the difference between the two now? Oh, yeah, it's hard. So it's under different tension. Yeah, it's hard. Leah's going to be brave and take one in the gut. It's really getting this piece out. I'm gonna go yeah. Ooh, look at it is rusty. It's a yeah. rusty wallet. <laughs> I'll clean this. Well, was it, what's that full of crap? Yeah. Is that Probably white lithium? A little rust and then like some That's, of this yeah. that you spray. I thought I'd spray it in there because I thought <laughs> yeah. this is what it looks like guys. It's a rusty walls compared to the new one. Hang on. That's just from going in the water so I'm guessing this would be the right spring there. What causes this to squeak? Because it's just, it must be rubbing on the casing. I maybe. think the spring, like, we should try compressing that spring and see if it squeaks. No, it's probably, it's probably the, the rust rubbing on the plastic thing. Feels like there's lots of tension there. That's all from just water. Isn't that nuts? And probably once a year, that's what you have to do with that leg. Because this isn't technically a waterproof. No. <laughs> so that's why. Yeah. It's it's. But what? honestly, I hated that leg to begin with. But that leg's been pretty good for me. Like, yeah. It's kind of a go-to. It's nice and light. It's reliable, right? Yeah. It's light. It's it, the only thing is you fall. Like you biff it. That's yeah. the only thing that sucks about that one. Because especially if you're a microprocessor user, yeah. you get used to it, it'll save you, and this one will no, not save you. You're biffing it. Yeah. 
The other thing I don't like about that is crawling on it. Because as soon as you oh, see Neil, yeah. you hear that thud. Yeah. And I like that cover better than the other one yeah. you gave me. So. It's probably more comfortable the other one, but it looks ugly, yeah. right? It looks shitty. Yeah. yeah. If it was black, I mean. Yeah. Okay, let's try this one on, and I just want to see if I can make any adjustments. Okay. Okay, let's see if it will go on. I don't think the socket will go on. Because that's with the new system. This is a little sweet still. This way? Yeah. It almost sounds like it's coming from the socket. That's the middle. But I bet you that's like one centimeter difference. The, just that. So like what is that? Yeah, I really need to. Okay. How do you want to do this? It's so outset. What do you mean? Like it looks like. What do you mean? It looks like this is on like the outside. Go with what you see, because I've screwed her way off. Like I know yeah. I have. Apple prosthetics is not good at alignments. <laughs> we're not, we're not watch, too good at a lot of things. Down there again? Oh. We're good at replacing parts. Dialed yeah. in, not so much. She's like gonna puke. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, head back in. I We're gonna internally rotate the knee a little bit. Me, do you want? To I should note for reference that Crocs aren't the best walking shoes, but this is my summer shoes, and I walk in water and everything with them, and they're just a lot more comfortable. They make me feel normal, but for any amps out there, they're really not the best, and they're not supported, and your gait will be terrible, but you'll look cool, so that's a win. So what Leah's doing here, she's staff, stacking up magazines to figure out your height. So she looks at you and figures out whether your shoulders are level after standing on the magazine. So she knows how high to raise the leg. It's a pretty simple but cool trick. Okay, let me try that. Okay. I'll take, take it, it off. from you. Yeah, because I'm going to replace the pipe. On the ground. You see what she did? Mm -hmm. So now she knows how much to add to it, to mm -hmm. lengthen it. I'm going to take the pipe, I'm going to take out the shim. I'm going to mess around with that a little bit. <laughs> yeah, I'll be proud of that. We can, <laughs> we can replace parts. We can't get her dialed in, though. So you see what she did there? She put all these magazines together and then figured out the height. And she doesn't normally a prosthetist goes off your hips so they, they put your fingers on your hips and if you know one's low you know you're low but I am always low on my prosthetic side and then I also um, always when I walk I get a dip and it's a really bad habit and amputees like I went to if I went back to gate school they would beat me like no end but that's just what's comfortable for me so we're gonna go up two magazines and then hopefully next time I'm down, she'll add another magazine to get me back up to the height. Because if you do too many adjustments, it just doesn't feel right. So normally she I would do this one without a liner. Oh. Walk a little again. Yeah. Okay. yeah, it doesn't look too bad. Like the, I don't whole, mind the whole bottom. Yeah, you can see it like kind of goes forward a little bit, which is the cushion, like that bumper part, holding you until you need it. I think that that part's good. No, I, I'm happy, like, it fits good. Okay. Except yeah, just the socket. socket. Yeah, just but normally, the important part. Normally, I, I wouldn't go socket. I just don't yeah. yeah. And yeah, the foot, do you think the foot's too turned in, just a hair? No. Okay. Crocs, it's so hard to tell. So that's the dealio, guys. She's raised it and fitting better. So now she's going to take the test socket, add clay in that one area. So it'll give me a little bit bigger of an area. And she's going to send me home with the foot. And go from so there. I think we're going to conclude it there. I just want to thank Barbara's Prosthetics and Leah for allowing me to film. and. For everybody sitting here watching my videos, I really, really appreciate it. Thank you so much, and we'll see you on the next one.